Now, over the weekend, Boris Johnson was seen holding <coughs> son Wilfred on his family holiday. But critics were quick to judge his papoose carrying technique, saying it was hanging too low and too loosely. It does seem both mums and dads can't escape parent shaming now. Colleen, what do you think? Do you think it's unfair to criticise males and, you know, fathers and how they, how they look after their young? Well, I think it's unfair to criticise any male or female, mums or dads, mm -hmm. but... I don't know. You know what? I'm I'm such a, a sucker and romantic when I see men with their child in those papoose or in pushing a pram Even and all Boris. of that. I literally go, oh, there's something that melts my heart about it. I don't know why. As for those carrier things, I don't think babies ever look comfortable in them. I don't care how they're worn. I mean, I had one with mine and I'd I'd go, oh, it needs to be higher, so I'd... Oh. But whatever way you do it, the legs and their arms are like that yeah. and the face is like that, and I think they just don't look comfortable to me. Yeah. So, you know, he can't win, can he, whatever he No, does I mean, I just looked at the picture and thought, oh, this is kind of set up. Here's me with my child yeah, for no, the picture. But, but yeah. you know, he's looking after his kid, isn't he? he? Is, Kelly, yeah. what do you think? Oh, I really like the picture. I think it's really cute. I mean, yeah, it's not exactly as it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be tighter. And yes, he could have read the instructions. But how nice must it be for them to be able to post something that isn't political, that is just him out having time with his son? I think it's quite sweet, personally. Mm. Yeah. Denise? Um, yeah, I mean, listen, there's lots... I'd like to There's a lot say, you could say. say about Boris at, at the moment. But whether he's Boris or Doris, I don't care who... I don't think people should be pe parent-shamed no. for, what, for whatever, you know. And, it, and um, yeah, so I think... And I think there is too much of that. Back in the day, I'm sure that there was always the mum's gossip group at Toddler Group talking about Sue and what she did and Joan and what she did. But now with social media, mm. it's absolutely appalling. You know? But I think I think the thing is, we can't help sometimes. The thing that gets me is, I'm not saying that I haven't, in my mind, or to my friend standing next to me, criticised something I've seen or somebody... Like, for instance, in those papoose things, I've seen them in the middle of winter where the, the, the legs are hanging down, it's freezing cold, Mum's all wrapped mm. up with a dad and the kid's got no socks on. So would you step in then and say no. something? No. A, I wouldn't put it all over social media. No, and B, I wouldn't go up and go your child's feet are freezing and it's all right. You know, it's their child and it's their decisions. But have I not thought it? Of course I have. Yeah. Mm. But I wouldn't interfere to that degree. You know, mm. I, if it was my sister, I'd go, you know, if feet are freezing, put some socks, I'd probably go and buy them some socks, but not to a total stranger. It's, it's not... probably different, isn't it, Kelly, when it's family, yeah, you know, whether yeah, it's yeah. a mother or a father or a cousin yeah. saying it to you. Yeah, absolutely. It is easier when it's somebody that you know rather than a complete stranger. I was really lucky because when I had the children, I had an amazing health visitor. So if I ever had any questions or queries, I could go straight to a professional and get that professional advice or assistance rather than feeling like I was getting somebody else's advice who's just their way of doing something. But don't let me get started on my mum. My mum always had an opinion. <laughs> my mum was like, no, sit him up straight to burp him. No, lie him down that way to put him to sleep. No, make sure you, you hold your nipple in this way to put the nipple. You know, like, my mum, she, bless her, love her. She's probably watching. Mum, I love you. But she always had something to say about my parenting skills. But I just want it. a grandchild exactly. to interfere. I, I, oh I just, I'm so desperate for a, for, for a grandchild. Um, in the unlikely event, Matthew, that you're watching this <laughs> broadcast... Oh, dear. Um, I, I really am. I mean, I, I, I think I'm a bit later in wanting one than some of my friends because I was kind of 43 when I had Louis, mm. so I had little children at the age that most people didn't. But now he's 19. If you're watching, Louis, I don't mean you. Um, I, I'm so desperate for a grandchild. I mean... I, I can't... I have to stop myself going over to people's children in restaurants and stuff and asking for a hold and a squidge, a squidge. because I'm so desperate to have one of yeah, my yeah. own. Does that put pressure on, yeah. on your kids, though? I mean, do you say to them... Hurry Probably, up. but I don't care. <laughs> well, I have to say that I... I was with Kira recently in a well-known supermarket that sells baby clothes as well, and we were upstairs and we walked past it. She, when I say recently, it wasn't that recently, because she's 19 now, she was 18 at this point. And we walked past these baby clothes and I'm going, look at that, oh, look at that, so cute. And she was, yeah, yeah. And I went, come on now, Kira, stop being so selfish. Holly, she's 19! 18! She didn't even oh, have a boyfriend man. at that point. 
However, oh, she's 19 now and she has, so come on, Kira. Oh. <laughs> what are you doing? Give her yeah, a minute. Otherwise, Give Kira, her you'll a get another pet. <laughs> <laughs> Michelle, you haven't got any kids yet. And here we go. I know well no, because I I know with some of my other friends who haven't got round to it yet, they said that people are constantly saying, yeah. Are you gonna have another grandchild? Does Mavis say that to you? She, she has started saying it more, definitely. I mean, I'm 36 years old. I'm in a 36? It, I'm in a happy relationship. And the question does get asked, but it does put a lot of pressure on you because you start to think about what everyone else is thinking and yeah. less about, you know, how you're feeling in the situation. What does Ben think? He, he would like to have kids, you know, and it is something that we've spoken about and it's just being in the right situation and, you know, there's, there's so much to think about well, in that. Mavis, I think you should get oh, a move man. on. I'm just sitting here going, <laughs> 36. I'm going to move on. You look <laughs> 36. Oh, that's that's annoying. Annoying. Remember, you're, I was 43 and so... That's it, that makes me feel better. You've got a bit of time. Thank you. Thanks, girl.